Roger, great to have you back. Thanks. Nice to be here. You're expecting 75. Why 75 and not 100, as some other Fed officials have said? I'm expecting 75 for a couple of reasons. One is um, there are some mixed signals about the economy, uh, some of them more qualitative, some more quantitative. Secondly, uh, the most recent uh, inflation expectations report from the University of Michigan for consumers suggested that maybe inflation expectations are coming down just a little bit. And finally, while there have been some voices uh, that we've heard suggesting 100 basis points, I've also heard a number of voices, including President Bostic from Atlanta, mentioning 75. Uh, and his argumentation about not needing to rile the markets unnecessarily, et cetera, I think is more likely to be the consensus point of view. So while it's a close call and there will be some discussion of 100 basis points, I think 75 is on balance the more likely outcome. Uh, what's, your, what's your take on, on Treasury yields and where they stand right now, Roger? Because it's been a, a roller coaster ride. We certainly had a lot of volatility in the fixed income market when it comes to U.S. Treasury specifically. The 10 year yield today is at 2.77%, which sort of makes the Fed's job a little bit harder. I mean, if borrowing costs come down, the Fed is trying to dampen demand here, so it's sort of working against the Fed. The Fed doesn't have the tool to fight the 10 year yield, though, does it? It doesn't. So, what does it do? Well, uh, three points to make. One, it has been extremely volatile. I think the volatility has reflected uh, a variety of uh, uncertainties about incoming data. You know, one moment we see very strong labor report. Inflation continues to be uh, an issue. On the other hand, there's some, some softening that starts to emerge here and there. Uh, we see different commentary from Fed officials. Uh, I think there's an uncertainty about uh, future guidance, so to speak. We'll see what Chair Powell has to say about what the future is likely to hold in terms of uh, Fed rates. Um, and so I think all of that is feeding into a sense of uncertainty in the markets, looking for you know, clarity of direction. I think markets know the Fed is going to continue to raise rates, but people are also starting to talk about some softening. Uh, you've seen uh, stories of slowing down in hiring, et cetera. And so there are these cross currents that I think are being reflected uh, in the fixed income markets right now. What's your take on, on where the economy stands at this moment, Roger, given all the sort of conflicting data that we've gotten, um, some might say confusing at times? The Treasury market is telling us with the inversion that's that's happening that we're on the path or maybe in a recession currently. So what's your take? My take is as follows. Um, we've got many different things, as you point out. Consumers are still uh, relatively strong. Uh, we continue to see uh, in the most recent retail sales reports, you know, positive overall numbers. While when adjusted for inflation, things do appear to be slowing a little bit. Uh, and so I think that's the other part of the story. Obviously, the labor force is still very strong and wage growth is strong. So we have those things that are driving forward momentum uh, in the markets. Having said that, you know, one has to take in the fact that uh, the so-called wealth effect, you know, the value particularly of equities under pressure, as you and your colleagues are reporting. Uh, and so I think that leans the other way. And I think we're seeing CEOs, through some of their words and actions, uh, indicating perhaps a little bit of concern about the future, slowing back on their hiring a little bit. So there are these cross currents. And then finally, uh, a point that one has to understand is the United States is not an island by itself, though it is you know, the most important economy in the world. We still are suffering from uh, supply chain issues emerging out of China and questions about other parts of the world, particularly like Europe, going into recession weighing on us a little bit as well. So there are a lot of cross currents here right now, some elements of strength and some headwinds, all of which create this kind of, uh, of uncertainty and indeed confusion, as you, as you use the word.